I can't see a thing, Jim. Well, hold on. I swear, it's always some damn thing. Wait, got it. Ah, hell, this thing ain't gonna hold. Shut up. Damn, you're ugly. You girl, strapped in nice and tight now. Hatter, your mama <laughs> for me out there, Joey Ray. We got terror for sure. I don't know about the rest. We got a big old buttload of floating debris out here. Hello everyone and welcome to this, the second episode of the StarCraft Saga playthrough that I, Dualux Oz, am doing. Um, when we left off last time we just finished the uh, tutorial mission, uh, so this one is the uh, first, um, first of the Terran missions, it's called Wastelands and um, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes in a second. So let's get to it, single player, StarCraft Original, me, Okay, and of course you're going for the Terry campaign. Now, when you come back to when you come back to StarCraft, um, you'll get a list of the things you can do. So, tutorial is what we've what we've played, and that's in, in our light green. Um, Wasteland is what we're going to be playing, and I just clicked on it uh, to make it it that one, uh, and we can go ahead and get started. Adjutant Online. Good evening, Magistrate. I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Confederate traffic has increased substantially within the system due to the recent Protoss destruction of the Chao Sara colony. The Confederates have tightened security on all outlying systems, and it's likely that this colony will be locked down as well. An encrypted Confederate transmission came for you while you were at dinner. Replaying transmission. Greetings, Magistrate. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Confederate Security Forces Alpha Squadron. The Confederacy has quarantined this entire planet, and we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours. You are to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wastelands. Now, I know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements. Transmission ended. I have contacted the local marshal, James Rayner. Rayner has agreed to meet your personnel en route and escort them to the new wasteland site. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, we need to find Rayner, we need to build a barracks, and we need to train 10 Marines. Now, James Rayner is one of the main characters of the StarCraft story. Um, and in StarCraft 2, you actually get to, uh, in effect, play him. Um, sort of, kind of. Anyway, let's get on with it. Um, so, we'll start. Okay, so we'll often get some tips. Um, that's how we go. So, what we've got here, we can see this is where we are now. Can't 
And down here, we've got a base. Can we do anything at the base? Oh, we can. I think. Not enough minerals. No, we can't do anything at the base yet because um, we don't have enough minerals. But back up here, we did have some SCVs. So let me grab, let me grab the Marines, and I'm going to grab all the Marines, and I'm going to do it by double left click. I've got all the Marines up to my maximum. I'm just going to move them forward a bit. And then I'm going to do the same with the SCVs. Now, logically, I should scout out this entire area um, to know what's going on, but as I said, I've played this so often now, I know pretty much what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these guys down here. Yes, sir. To about there. And what I should be doing is not moving, but attack moving. So I should be doing this type of move. So Outstanding. just in case there's anything out there. Okay. Now I'm going to do that again. Let's move. Ah, what's this? Ah, Jim Rayner. He's on uh, no, it's on some sort of vehicle because it's got vehicle plating, fragmentation grenades, and spider mines. That's interesting. So let me just grab my SCV, my SCVs and bring them in, and then grab my Marines and bring them down. Howdy, boys. I'm Jim Rayner, Marshal of these parts. Okay. So let me select all of them now. Oh, new objective. Jim's got to survive, so I might Go just ahead, select Commander. him and put him over there Commander. and use my Marines. Now again, I'm going to attack move down because I don't know what's there. Aha! Something's there. And that's why you attack move. They were Zerg. They were Zerglings to be accurate. Um, but that's okay. Um, so let's move these guys down to the base. So that was... Attack move, sorry. Left click on that. Left click where I want to attack move to. Come back up here. Let's grab these guys. I'm going to right click to get them down as quick as I can. In fact, I'm going to right click them right out of the way down here. I want to keep Jim safe. He's, he's a pretty powerful vehicle, but I'd rather keep him safe. Now, I'll grab my SUVs. And right click and get them mining. No, mine away. Now, I'm going to put these guys on patrol. So I'm going to move over here and have that as my start of my patrol point. I'm going to put the end of the patrol point over there, because I'm going to build a barracks there when I get enough, um, enough um, guys. Now, in StarCraft, unfortunately, your human troops will, or your troops, human troops will not heal. Um, there are no medics. Uh, medics aren't introduced until StarCraft Brood War. So, um, normally I throw a medic in with these guys just to keep, just to keep them healthy, 100% healthy, but can't do that, so um, I'm just going to put up with it. But I've got five of my ten marines. I only need to build five more. So as you can see, the SCVs have spread out a bit, and they're mining quite away quite nicely. I think I've got enough for a barracks here, so I'm going to grab this guy who just dropped off, and just move him out of the way while I get ready. So I'm going to build structure. Um, I don't need another supply depot, but I do need a barracks. So I'm going to put a barracks in. Um, too rough, too rough, too rough. I can't build because the Marines are moving through the area. I'll wait till I get out of the area, then I'll, I'll drop it down. Um, and that's my barracks going in. Now you can actually watch the barracks being constructed. Um, you've got nothing better to do. Um, with my Marines moving back and forth on patrol like that, they should give me any warning of any attacks that may, may or may not come in. So we'll see how we go with it. Um, I note there's no Vespain gas nearby, so I don't have to build a refinery or anything else like that. Um, so we'll just see how, how it goes we'll as this keeps on building. Um, this is also a nice schematic of how damaged the building is. 
um, when they get damaged, when they get attacked and get damaged, they, um, they'll go uh, yellow and then red, um, as will most things. Um, it's a quick colour code to see how healthy your various um, troops and units are. Almost done. Now, when I am done, I'm going to put him back on. Yes, on um, don't stop. Um, oh, I accidentally stopped him. I shouldn't have done that. I just had to right click on it to re get him to repair, restart it. I'll get him down here um, uh, mining again as soon as that building's done. Now, the AI in this. There we go. Okay, so I, I've got five of ten marines. Um, you'll note the AI is pretty stupid. These guys get in their way quite a bit. Um, so just be aware of that. I'm just going to put my rally point there by clicking on the marine barracks and right clicking. Um, and I'm going to train five marines. They're 50 each, so I can train them. I can hit the whole queue um, all together. You'll note that it closes off when I've got my queue filled. It'll start again when I when I build my first one. I only need ten. I've got five already on patrol, so this next five will be um, coming. You can scroll around by uh, moving to the edge of the, the uh, screen. Can be a bit sensitive, you, or you can uh, you can do the same with the arrow keys. You want a piece of me, boy. So there's my first marine. Well, like I say, you've just got to wait until you get the, the, the queues built. Now, normally you'll have lots and lots of things going on. I could have built a second barracks and had two queues going at once, but eh, it's not really worth it. Um, not for this scenario. Some of the more advanced scenarios are pretty good, but this is we're te technically still, you want a piece of me, boy. still just starting out, so we should be good. So... Second last one, and we'll have our team. Now, sometimes I put Marines on patrol, and sometimes I don't. It depends on the scenario. Um, you want a piece of me, boy? I'd much rather put my Marines in fixed fortifications spaced around my base. Um, not quite as efficient, but in, if they're in a fixed fortification, they usually survive a lot longer, <laughs> uh, which can be uh, rather useful, um, especially without. Uh, healers without medics. So here comes my last one now, um, and that'll should be the end of scenario. Of me, boy. Except for the fact, no, no, it was the end of scenario. There we go. So that's basically it for that scenario. As you see, the first couple are pretty easy. Um, here's my victory screen. Oh, there was a brood out there. Um, unidentified creatures. Um, I, I don't usually go through all this in detail uh, unless I've got a, unless something interesting happened during the game. Uh, this one took us eight minutes twenty seven minutes eight minutes twenty seven seconds, so that's all right. And again, if I click OK, I'll go on straight on to the next mission. I'm not going to do that because, pardon me, I'm breaking this up. But again, if you want to hang around for uh, five ten minutes, um, I'll be back with the next mission. So uh, until then, thanks for watching, um, and uh, we'll see you all uh, soon. Well. That's it for this session. We hope you enjoyed the game as much as we did. I'm Julux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.